Hello everybody, welcome to Simple Diversions, or should I say welcome back? Uh, it's actually Simple Diversion. I know. Everybody, welcome back to Simple Diversion. Here today we are smoking a couple different cigars. I have the Undercrown Shade. Very good, uh, just started smoking it. Outside today on a, uh, what is it, about 60 degrees? It was about 60 degrees today. We're, for anybody that doesn't know, we are in Wisconsin, so um, we're, we don't live in the south. We don't get the all-year cigar smoking weather, so for us, it's it's about 50 degrees, and it's yeah. beautiful, and we're so just happy to get out. Right, so this is really nice to us. Well, a little bit about my cigar. I'm smoking the Undercrown, and it's just the normal version. It's uh, got a Maduro wrapper with some visible tight seams, um, so far, it's got a great burn. Um, some of the flavors would be um, some spice and pepper along with some earth and then a little bit of cocoa. Um, definitely heavy on the earth. It's not one of my favorite cigars, but um, it is, you know, above average. Yeah, with the Undercrown Shade, you get more of a vanilla caramel flavor. Uh, once you get further down, uh, you do get a little bit more cinnamon, some peppers, white peppers. Uh, it's, it's a very medium, uh, full cigar. Uh, very good. It once again, it's probably not my favorite cigar either, um, but very, very uh, tasteful. And if anybody's new to cigars, the Undercrown here that I have is actually the Maduro wrapper, and then Rob has the Connecticut wrapper. The uh, Undercrown that I have is going to be medium to full uh, body, and then Rob has the medium body. If anybody doesn't know what that means, it's basically the amount of flavor and then the amount of um, punch that the cigar has so both of them are the bellicoso size and they're both gonna be six inches by 52 ring gauge they are from Nicaragua which is my personal favorite area uh, for cigars this is our first cigar review slash discussion we're not gonna pretend that we are one of the great reviewers we just like to smoke cigars every once in a while relax, have good discussion. So we'll tell you what we're smoking and um, you know we'll let you know how we like it and maybe if you should try it or not. Yeah, yeah it's something that we do just to kind of uh, start a conversation, kind of get to know each other you know, a little bit more, be able to talk about uh, you know, more in-depth things in our life. Uh, it's a good way to socialize. The other thing that you can do while smoking a cigar is you can pair it with a whiskey or a beer. Um, Today what we're doing is we're just going with water. I do find that sometimes a beer can really help the flavor, and so can whiskey, but they can also overpower a cigar. So to get the best uh, and the most accurate flavor, you should just drink water. But again, there's no right or wrong way right. to smoke a cigar, to do whatever you want with a cigar. So whatever you find works, go for it. And I've also heard that drinking coffee with cigars every once in a while can be uh, very good. Um, bring out the taste in some of your cigars. I haven't tried it myself. I would like to, yeah, one day. This cigar I've heard would actually be a really good pairing with um, a coffee, because it's it's gonna be a more of a medium body. Uh, mild also go really well with coffee, so yeah, I give it a try. Let us know what are your favorite cigars to smoke, or when do you like to smoke cigars? Are you a morning person? Do you like to do it for dessert? You know, yeah. there's, there's no right or wrong. Right. I'm more of a uh, evening kind of guy to smoke a cigar. Um, it's kind of like that time to kind of wind down, uh, socialize in the evening, have a drink, and uh, not worry about the next day. So Friday night, Saturday night is always a good time to have a nice cigar. So Rob, what do you think so far about yours? Well, after about 10 minutes or so. Uh, about the first yeah. third. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really good. Um, like I said before, you know, a lot of that caramel uh, you know, I am starting to get more of that pepper area where I'm tasting more of the cinnamon, the, the uh, white peppers. Um, you know, and just drinking water, it's actually not bad to drink with. How about you? Uh, so far, I've had some bad experiences with Undercrown, sometimes with the construction and then other times just not the flavors that I like. Um, so far, this one's been really great, and I don't know if you can see or not, but the ash is holding on tight. Um, a good burn line, you know, nothing too wonky. Um, it's pretty spicy, at least in my palate, and um, it's it's pretty good. Um, hopefully it stays the same. I mean, it's going to change in flavors, but hopefully it, the, the pleasure amount stays the same, I guess. Yeah. Um, something that I really like, too, about Undercrown is just the labels. Yeah. 
I've always been a big fan of the the dragon on it. It's a it's a simple yet really unique um, label, and I just like the color schemes that they go with too. But yeah, so far you know very enjoyable. It's very relaxing out here today, and for a you know what about a nine dollar cigar, you know it's pretty pretty enjoyable. So for anybody that is a, a superhero fan, a Batman fan. Um, we just saw on YouTube that the new Justice League trailer comes out, was it tomorrow or in two days? Uh, I believe they said Saturday, so tomorrow, yeah. So we're we're pretty big Batman fans, um, so we're really excited to see that. Who's your favorite superhero or yeah. you know hero growing up? Yeah, who, who are you most look for, looking forward to seeing in the trailer, in the movie? You know, I know Aquaman's going to have a bigger part in it, The Flash, and uh, Wonder Woman will be in it again, Batman, of course. So... So who was your favorite superhero growing up, Rob? My favorite superhero growing up, uh, I had a couple. Batman's one, but um, my favorite superhero of all time is definitely the amazing Spider-Man. The reason that is, is because uh, when you're a kid, he was the young superhero. Uh, he had, I thought he had one of the, some of the coolest villains other than Batman. So, you know, Batman has the Joker, the Riddler, all those great villains, but Spider-Man has the Green Goblin, Venom, Carnage, Electro, the Vulture. So, Dr. Octopus. So, a lot of good uh, villains, a lot of good backgrounds with those villains. The Sinister Six was always interesting. Peter Parker and Mary Jane's uh, relationship was always fun to kind of follow through with. Um, so, very cool. You know, the nerd gets the uh, the hot the hot girl. So. <laughs> <laughs> but my favorite, I, I really liked uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles growing up. But that's, I know that's not really the. Yeah. The focus on superhero, you think of Batman, Spider-Man, you know, uh, Superman type of stuff. And if I had to pick one of those, obviously mine would be Batman. Uh, I grew up um, with Batman my whole life. I believe when the first Michael Keaton movie came out, I was four years old. No. And my dad actually took me to the theater to see it. So that was pretty sweet. I did fall asleep in the theater, but... Yeah. Um, that movie came out, what, 1989 or so? It did. Wow. So I was born that year. <laughs> and but I was I, four. Yeah, I, I do believe I, I saw Batman Returns um, before the first Batman, but both of them were from uh, Tim Burton, so which was actually a shocker when I got a little older and find, mm -hmm. found that out. The thing I really like about Batman too is that anybody can be Batman. Mm -hmm. He's a normal guy. He doesn't have any sort of special, you know, superhero strength or power. Um, and he's just, I like the dark superheroes, like Superman's always been a little too comic book, uh, not comic book, but too light, Yeah. like Batman's dark and he's mysterious and um, for anybody that has seen the Batman vs Superman movie that they, they just came out with last year, a lot of people didn't like that movie, but I thought all the scenes with Batman in were just outstanding because that is my Batman that I love. The, the Batman that's brutal, dark, and right. doesn't show any mercy. Right. Yeah, and we just watched a scene, uh, what, a few minutes ago. Um, in the warehouse. In the warehouse, yeah. I think Superman is probably the most criticized superhero. He's too... He's too perfect, <laughs> I think. They, they make him the uh, pretty boy with his curl and his... Well, I think, too, it's... He's got superhuman strength. You can't beat him unless you have the kryptonite. Right, and it seems like everybody ends up getting the kryptonite anyways. Yeah. So, really, he's actually the easiest villain to beat, or superhero to beat. So I did hear that they made a comic book series, a short mini series of Ninja Turtles versus Batman. I'd I, like to see that. Yeah, I've, I've never read it, but I heard you know it had some good reviews. So, if you that guys know anything about that, let us know. Flavors for me are staying pretty consistent. Still a lot of spice, some black pepper. Um, getting just kind of that harsh tobacco taste. Um, not when it's harsh, it doesn't mean it's like a terrible t taste or a flavor, but you can really, really feel it on your palate. But still burning really good. Really good cigar. Yeah, yeah I'll have to try that next time. I've never smoked one of them. And for anybody, you know, like, I, I really like Padron, um, you know, the higher brand cigars, but this is kind of a really good middle of the road. You know, it's not going to be like a Liga Pravada, but, you know, it's it's a really good cigar and you're going to be in the single digits for, for money-wise. Yeah. All right, let us know what you think. You know, maybe you're getting different flavors or you have a different experience with it. All right.
and hopefully you don't have to sit out in the 55 degree weather like we are where it's starting to get a little chilly. Yeah, my hands are starting to get a little numb, but we are warriors for our cigars. Yes. Smoking a cigar with a bunch of your buddies outside, uh, especially on a nice summer day, summer night, it, it, it kind of gets everybody off their cell phone, starts good conversation, um, you know, and kind of get to know how the week went. Uh, it might be a stressful week at work, stressful day at work, and just to be able to sit outside, you know, those, those old times where people would just socialize mm -hmm. and you know during certain events or just hang out in the backyard yeah I find that cigars are a great way for people to get back to just talking and you know like, like you said putting the phones away and right. there's still that deep conversation of what's going on in the world today what's going on in your life you know we talk about sports you know whatever comes about it's it's always right. a good time and you know it's part of the reason why we have cigars every once in a while is because it's the hobby and it's the nature of you know, getting together and, and having those those good times. So exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. Pretty soon here, we'll get our patio furniture out. We're actually on our on my back porch, and then we have a patio out here with a fire pit. So that's where we tend to have our cigars during the summertime. But. Yeah. I also love to have a cigar while golfing. I try to golf, you know, every week, every other week in the summer. So, you know, maybe potentially if anybody cares yeah. about that, maybe I'll vlog a little bit about that, let you know how I'm golfing, where I'm golfing, what the course looks like, yeah. and then what cigar I'm having. Uh, Rob has gone a couple times, and I'm trying to get him to get into golf a little bit more. So, you know, guys, just let him know how much <laughs> golf is cool because I, I started golf two years ago, and before that I hated it. Yeah. But um, I think... You know, because I just looked at it as guys just uh, hitting a stupid ball, and right. it's stupid. But you know, when you do it, it's it's so it's such a hard game, and it's more mental than it is physical. Like I'm pretty athletic. I play basketball, football, whatever, baseball. But this game is more you know in your mind, and it's it's about technique, and it's it's difficult, and it's a I always call it the game that I I love to hate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, it's one of those sports, I think, though, um, that you, when you start off, when you start up at a later age and you're not very good at it, you kind of give up a little quicker than usual. So I think that I'm at that stage right now where I'm not that great at it. So I feel like I'm wasting other people's time or <laughs> my friend's time when I'm out with them and, uh, you know, just a little poop poop, you know, and uh, they're driving it down. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> So getting down to it, we're pretty much, you know, finishing up here. Maybe another 10 minutes left, but this is probably where we'll we'll salute, you know, yeah. for the day. But um, you know, let us know what cigars you guys like, or if you guys want us to smoke a certain cigar and let you know what we think. You know, this is kind of what we're we're here for to interact with you guys, you know, um, and just have that discussion. Um, it's been a lot of fun. I can't wait to do more of these videos and. Um, Turn Absolutely. it over to you, Rob. Yeah, looking forward to doing more videos, uh, showing you guys what we're kind of into and different diversions throughout the, the week. Um, give us some ideas uh, if we can't come up with any or if you happen to like a certain video more than other ones. You know, maybe we'll do more cigar reviews or maybe we'll talk more about superheroes if you liked that quick little, you know, comment that we had on Batman. So, uh, yeah, let us know. But, um, yeah, it's been nice hanging out. All right, guys. Take care and uh, we'll see you soon. Yeah, see you soon.